What's going on, people? Look at where we at. We are at the laundromat on a Saturday night. Yeah, we, we back at home. Little shopping center. They're doing laundry on a Saturday night. Why is that? Well, <laughs> had an interesting um, outcome yesterday. So, yesterday I actually went back to work. And I was supposed to go pick up a load from York, Pennsylvania. So, but the load where it was getting delivered at requires a lift gate. And the rental, the Penske rental that I'm currently in doesn't have a power cord or the fittings to the power cord doesn't fit that truck. So they had to put me in a company truck. And in the company truck, there was a driver that was previously in it. Supervisor said, okay, you know, he cleaned it up and everything, you could get rolling with that. And um, he had to make sure that I still knew how to drive a manual. I was like, driving a driving manual is like riding a bike. Well, it's for me it is, it's like riding a bike. So anyway, so get in the truck, put my stuff in, everything looked good, floor looked clean, dashboard, all that good stuff. Um, from where I'm at in Jersey over to York PA, it's about like an hour and a half. So get there, chill out for the night, and you know, lay my linen down and go to bed. Now, before I get into, you know, the whole incident of what happened, the method of my madness every time I come home, I never leave my clothes I never leave my linen in the truck even in the company truck that I'm assigned to I do laundry every time I come home or if I'm staying an extra week out on the road I'll do laundry on the road I've seen many videos of me doing laundry never afraid of laundry do your laundry guys so I'm always because is the you already know the space inside of a semi is not that big it's like a studio apartment even smaller because we don't have a bathroom so i'm cleaning all the time i never get tired of cleaning even if it takes me an hour to get home an extra hour to get home I'm cleaning everything, cleaning dashboard, cleaning the floors, um, cleaning behind the, the beds and stuff like that. I got a wet dry vac, vacuum everything, like because it, you, you know this this is where you gonna be, um, you know, getting exposed. You gonna be in your underwear. Some of you guys like to you know go go full Viking <laughs> in the truck, so. Yeah, but anyway, so it's a method of my madness on why I clean a lot, especially with my linen. So I get in the truck, sleep. All of a sudden, I'm like, and I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is biting me? And I turn on the light, arms, legs full of hives then I get up and the bed is fully infested fully infested and I'm skeeved out and I had to sleep in the driver's seat for the rest of the night so as soon as the morning came called my safety manager he was like oh you know that you know such and such driver i'm not gonna say his name such and such driver you know he's a good to go guy he's always clean he had the truck for four months and you know maybe you know the the bugs bed bugs may have hitched a ride off of you from the penske rental to the company truck and i'm like 
at that magnitude, nah, nah. And I even spoke to people that had issues with um, bed lice, bed bugs. They usually um, like to stay where they're at. And if you are the new host, I mean, if you are the new, um, you know, well, they're parasites and you are the new fresh meat, they're going to be biting you the hell up like they did me. So the guy that was previous in, he was probably already immune to it. So I took pictures. They was all underneath, inside of the fitting and this, the fitted sheet and stuff like that. It was, it was horrible. It was disgusting. So it was like, you know, damn, you know, we apologize. Just, just come back home, uh, you know, make sure. <laughs> um whatever clothes you got and everything just um if it's salvageable wash it in hot water and everything so that's why i'm at i salvaged most of my stuff and i you know vinegar lemon juice um some extra strength um laundry detergent i, I bought the commercial kind and um put it on the hottest setting of water and that's why the laundry mat has the hottest the, the, the commercial laundry mat had the hottest setting so um high heat kills the bed bugs so just in case you ever deal with that issue you know for some people some people get skeeved out if you gotta chuck everything and throw everything away throw everything away that stuff could be bought again but if you can salvage some of the stuff that you bought um immediately bag it up go straight to the laundry mat um you could use a whole bunch of um alternatives to kind of well not kind of they do that they, they are very effective like lemon juice vinegar and hot water and also detergent and wash it on hot to get rid of the who to get rid of anything that is like latching on or if they're like laying eggs and stuff like that it will kill them off so that's what we're doing here tonight you know on a saturday night and then after that um i'm gonna soak in some in, a, in some Aveeno oatmeal bath and rub my wounds down with some calamine lotion. So, yeah, fun Friday night. I mean, Saturday night. Anyway, it's not a knock on the company. I still love my company. It's, it's a great company. You know, I can't ask for anything more for them or whatever and everything, but there's individuals that are in your company that will put a black eye where you work at so it's never the company it's always the individuals so let that be known anyway uh, we almost at the nine minute mark i'm gonna go ahead and finish up all of this in here so we can get back to the house make the most of the night get some dinner go to sleep and we'll be back in the truck tomorrow on our way to indiana and we're bringing that Penske rental back to Colorado. So we'll be back And old Betty. I heard she is good to go. So I can't wait to get back in and, and you know, go back on our adventures. Anyway, y'all be safe. Y'all have a better day than I did, you know. And, hey, we live to tell about it and live to see another day. Peace.